Hi all, it's me again, Sabit Christopher, taking you through today uh, the large and the small functions. Uh, this time we are going to use the filter and the sort, which we have uh, done at some point. Uh, you can find the video about filter and sort in the description below. Uh, what we are going to do is sometimes you feel like you need to, you have your data and uh, you need the top three or top four. Uh, we are going to capture all the top four and the top five departments which have done, uh, which have had a change in the expenses. So here we are considering expenses between January and February and uh, the percentage change uh, will determine which uh, department or has gone over the change has been higher from last month and uh, the same thing we shall also do the bottom four you can choose any number but uh, for us we are going to deal with the four uh, again preempting you we are going to uh, deal with uh, the three functions majorly the sort the filter and uh, small and large so uh, you can find all these functions in uh, office 365 or office 2021 uh, but comparably, you can use Google Sheets. It has already these functions updated. If you don't have the two Excel versions, please go ahead and use the Google Sheets uh, to practice and come out with uh, the same similar things we are working on. Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, we are going to uh, copy our data, put it on another sheet. Uh, now, this is the data uh, we are going to use. Uh, in the change, how do we get the change first of all? Maybe I can uh, show you how we get the percentage change. Uh, percentage change equals to uh, open brackets. That is the current minus uh, previous. Uh, then you divide by previous. So uh, when you enter, uh, for the start, it will give you 0, 0.0 something, then you'll change this to percentage and maybe increase uh, increase the, the, the decimal places. So I run this one through. So these are the percentage changes uh, between the months, the two months, uh, the departments are spending in. That is January and February. Okay thing you have to do is you have to create a table. I've always, always said this. Uh, we always have to create a table such that we can easily reference uh, to our table when we are dealing with such functions. So how do we create a table? Uh, click anywhere in your data or you can select the whole data. Go to insert, then table. When you click on create table, you can use the control T as a shortcut or you click on table. Uh, it will bring a, di a dialogue uh, asking whether the, the, first, the first row selected is a header. Uh, no for now, which means since we already have this, which means we shall have to select our data instead. So we shall have insert table. You see this time it is not selecting the expense bit. So my table has headers indeed the first row is the header then i'll do okay so automatically this created now is a table which means our data is already enclosed into a container so when you're referencing to it it means that it becomes easy to reference to a column or the whole data so i will change the style to that uh, you can change to any style you feel like is best for you. Then I will go ahead before I do anything. I will give it a name such that it is easy for us to reference to that name. So I will call this data enter, which means our table now is referenced with the uh, uh, data as the name. Now uh, we have two functions. All four I can say we are going to use. We are going to use the large function. Uh, we are going to use the small function. Uh, we are going to use the filter function. And finally, we shall sort our data, either sending or descending. Now, let's take the few minutes we understand what the functions mean. Large means that uh, this is the, the top. So you give a number like top three, top four, that is the large, which means you begin with the largest change, 
If it is change, then it will be 9.1. Uh, if it is dealing with ex expenses of FEB, then you'll find that it is something different. Now, what is the syntax for large? So let's first get uh, the largest expense in January. You will say equals to large. So I've already said that we're using 365. If you don't have the 365 or Office 2021, use Google Sheets. It has the same functions. So large, what is my array? My array, I'm going to select the whole of January. Now you see here, because it is already table, it is showing that we are selecting data and uh, we are selecting January as our array. Uh, then comma. Now here the K is the number of, you're taking top four, then that is a four, top five, that is a five. So if I put a four and, and uh, close the parenthesis, then enter, which means the top four of my expense here is uh, 73.34. So that's how you get the large. Now uh, the small, it is just very simple. Uh, having the small it is very simple it is still the same thing uh if you want to get the smallest the array let's say we are getting for feb what is the smallest number three so when we go to smallest number three which means from the bottom uh 8.32 will be the third smallest because you already have the three and uh, the 7.16 so those are the two functions we are going to talk about but this time we are going to use an array because we shall want to pick out all the four or all the three smallest then it is the filter that will help us to filter out the top three or the top four then uh, the sort will help us to sort whether ascending or descending okay let's go now oh, i'm going to start with uh, uh this is uh i'm going to start with the top now the first thing we do is we pick the headers and when you have already named your table as uh you've already named your table you've given it a name it is always easy to pick the headers how do we pick the headers this is the way we do it you say equals to now you reference to our data which is our table which is already having a name data that is the data uh, this one tab to pick it open parenthesis now uh, uh, When actually we don't open parenthesis we open the square bracket. So when you open the square bracket it drops all uh, the, the the quantities we, we we may select or we are able to select so you see we have uh, We have uh, columns here we have if you want all, all your data if you want to select the data as how it is already named now this time we want the headers it shows you that it returns the column headers for the table or specified table column so the moment i pick that sorry here we are supposed to i will open square brackets again move to this tab it will pick the headers close the square brackets so the moment I close the square brackets and enter, it will give me an array of my headers. So I don't need to again reference or copy and paste the headers. It is dynamic. It means that if I change this uh, too much, it will be changing automatically. So that is the beauty of having an array, which is dynamic. So taking this back to Feb. Now, uh, you can go ahead and give this... Uh, give it a format it's uh, all about how how you may i can just bold this and uh, give it a light blue color a light green color so and now let's go ahead and uh, pick out uh, the smallest four here i will name we can take the smallest three so now if we want as uh, sorry the top three if we need the top three uh, this is how we are going to do it. Uh, the first thing is we are going to filter. Uh, here we shall say equals to uh, filter. So our filter function, what is the array? The array we already know that it is uh, data. Now you see the whole data of ours is selected. 
then what are we including what are we basing on to filter out our data now what we are basing on is we need the top three so the first thing we shall do we are going to first pass a logic so a logic uh, is we need data um, referencing to the column change this we need uh, this where the change is greater than or equal to now we bring here the large which means we are filtering uh, remember I told you like if you filter out the top three uh, you say large three large array three it will give me number three the largest number three but now if I filter equals or greater than that it will give me all the three top uh, departments in expanding so this will be large now large in want here the array is uh, this time it is data but remember now we are looking at the change which means our reference to uh, the change which is that and close the, the square brackets so uh, then a comma here I am supposed to note out I'm supposed to note out uh, the, 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 the constant I'm, I'm going with now. The constant I'm going with is a 3 because I need the large 3. So I'll put a 3, uh, which means here this closes. We close parentheses. Now, uh, the function for large, if we press F9 to see, if we press F9, it will show us the largest is 0 0.03 when we enter here uh, when you enter uh, I can put reformat this this were dollars and uh, uh, this I'll go with uh, percentage sorry sorry this is percentage okay Into one decimal place is enough now <coughs> It has already filtered us for it has already filtered for us the top three uh, according to the change the percentage change because when you check this you will see we have five nine point one five point three and uh, a two point seven so in that category but uh, the funny thing of it that this one is not sorted because we want it to be ascending like the highest should be at the top then as it is descending that way so what do you do you have to include now the sort function so when we bring in the sort function that is sort now what are we sorting we are sorting uh, which column we are sorting by which column now that is the sort index so we are sorting by column one two three four which means I'm sorting using column four which is my index now then uh, Sorting order here we have uh, one for ascending and negative one for descending. So you we can go with negative one such that we get the to, uh, the biggest at the top. Uh, close this and enter. So you'll find that we have sorted out our array and we are beginning we are having the topmost as nine point one and the list which is number three as two point seven so doing the same doing the same for bottom which means if you change this number here that now i need top five and enter it will give you the top five uh having this format copy there so it is all up to you uh how many numbers you want to be shown a top five top three top two top four it will always give you that quantity now we take this back to top three uh, then now we go to the bottom the bottom it is comparably the same the only change we have will be we are using now the small so uh, the same thing we start with equals to data uh, open square bracket we need the headers uh, tab close square brackets enter it will give you the header then we go ahead equals to uh, filter filter function what is our array the array is data uh, comma now what are we including uh, remember we have to 
show what we are including what we are filtering by we are filtering by change because we are putting a logic to pick out the smallest so i will do data uh, i'm referencing to my my table which is already having a name and uh, i can easily reference uh, the name and the column and this is what i'm doing so data change it automatically gives me uh, the only one column i want to refer to now this time we shall say less than or equal to this time we shall use the small and again we reference to the same column data change uh, close now uh, we need uh, the bottom three we shall put a three now when you close this again and uh, close again parenthesis and enter it is going to give us an array uh, i can put this in dollars or just uh, uh, copy format there paste it here so when you check this you see that they have given us the bottom three but still we need to arrange this in a certain order either descending or ascending so for bottom three i will want to start with the the lowest uh, to number three uh, bottom so which means 8.2 has to be at the top because it is uh, the lowest so i will have to put this in sort and uh, uh, still our sort index is four because we are considering column number four then comma uh, we are ascending this time because we want to start with the smallest as we go upwards so this time i'm going to use a one not a negative one so close parenthesis and enter so you'll see that my 8.2 negative goes on top because it is the lowest followed by negative 6.8 going downwards which means if i change this one like i need the bottom uh, six you'll see uh, the changes will happen immediately and dynamic so guys uh, this is you can go ahead and reformat this i will copy format and paste here the format so this is the bottom bottom six and the other one is the top three and indeed you see the arrangement has been done so so uh thanks for uh being with me up to the end of this video if this is your first time accessing this channel please remember to give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so hit that ready button and please share with a friend it may be more helpful to the friend thank you meet you in another video bye bye